Hey guys, so 2023 is coming to an end. This year has been an absolute blessing to me. It has been the best year of my life. Coming into 2023, I had a lot of ideas and I was really fired up with motivation. You know, 2022, I just begun my uh, transformation weight loss journey. You know, I was just getting into that. I was just getting where I was seeing some progression and I was super excited to see where I could push that and how far I could go. So that being said, this channel had a complete overhaul on what was about and what the content was being published. Instead, the channel shifted more into a motivational, working out, pushing your limits type of channel. And truly, I am blessed that I made the switch over to that. The content that I make is something that I enjoy right now and something that relates to my life. This channel is all about my life and I just wanna document my journey as being a martial artist. So that being said, this was definitely one of my ups in my year. I mean, just the amount of things that we accomplished this year, and we'll talk about a little bit right now. I mean, we'll just really talk about the social media side, because not only did I improve mentally and physically, we also expanded onto our social media platforms. So, some of the results of 2023. We created and published over 46 YouTube videos in the year 2023. And the best video that we published was the I turned 20, so I sparred 20 rounds. That video got over 500 views and it got that super, super fast. Usually I do get videos that get 500 views in a long period of time, but nowhere near as fast as that video did. That video caught traction super, super fast. Uh, YouTube keeps track of all the watch time and how long people watch me. And to add everything up all together at the end of the year, you, we had had a total watch time on YouTube on 1,188 hours. For a channel with only a thousand subscribers, that is a lot, a lot of watch time, especially since my videos average usually around three to eight minutes. That's a good amount of time. Subscribers gained alone just in 2023 was 371. And this was the year that we hit a thousand subscribers. Hitting a thousand subscribers is always a big goal for me. I never expected to hit it this fast though. I mean, the sheer shock in my face when I saw that number turn to a thousand subscribers absolutely blew my mind. I was so happy and excited in that moment. And it just shows that hard work pays off. You know, all of those videos that we posted, you know, always going out and going out of the way to edit and put a video together, it pays off, hard work pays off. It was crazy though, because it, it, it took us about four years to get the first 500 subscribers. And then it only took us a year and a half to get the next 500, which is absolutely crazy. The channel has been absolutely skyrocketing this year. And like I said, and I'll say it again, I'm truly blessed for you guys that continue to click on these videos and watch and interact. Even if you don't stick around for the whole video, just you clicking on the video and leaving a like rating on this video helps not just me but the channel grow and we gain new people we gain a new audience and we grow our awesome community and of course I don't only work on YouTube I also work on all other platforms Instagram Facebook TikTok and TikTok was definitely a big one for us this year I created over 212 TikToks this year and for the first five six months I was actually doing two to three TikToks per day just really on that grind on growing my page and we definitely did achieve that today we're sitting at 1362 followers on tiktok with 21,000 likes which is absolutely crazy that has definitely been my fastest growing platform you know it took us about uh six years to get a thousand subscribers on youtube it took me about two years to get that thousand follower goal on tiktok so that's just some of the stats and some of the things that we accomplished this year in the year of 2023 and like I said, I, I meant it. It has been just a year of fun, filled, growing. We have grown so much, not only just me, but ourselves as a community. So it has been absolutely insane. So that's enough about the uh, technical side. Let's move on into what actually happened in 2023. And that brings us back here. There has been so many opportunities that we have had, let alone in this academy. We've only been in this academy for one year and we already had our first super seminar here. We got to bring Caitlin Deschel into our academy and have her teach a seminar. I mean, the fact that we were able to make that happen absolutely blew my mind. It was definitely an awesome opportunity, not only just for myself, 
but for the students here at the academy to have an awesome, fun learning experience. And just to think about all the videos that we have created here at this academy has been absolutely insane. From our black belt workouts to our testings to our demos, that has been so much content that has been produced out of this school. But not only just in here, but also in Texas. Texas has been such an awesome place to be as far as traveling to different Tiger Rock schools. I had so many opportunities to travel to all different Tiger Rock schools in Texas and to interact with their instructors and students and just get to grow my community. It's so crazy to see, you know, whenever I travel, I meet somebody new that, you know, watches my videos. I'm like, wow, that's crazy that, you know, not only people from the local community, but from people spread out into the world are watching my videos as well. So it's, it's surreal. And not only that, but whenever I meet you guys at the world's competitions, that's when I get to see everybody from all across the states. I get to meet some of you guys that watch the videos and the fact that I hear that it inspires some of you guys, it definitely motivates me even more to continue and pursue this journey that I'm on, documenting my journey as a martial artist and uploading it for everybody to see. That's my main goal with all these videos and just to inspire people. I want to inspire as many as you guys as I can and I'm gonna continue to do that. And what I also look back at being at this academy for the first year is the physical shape that it got me in. Leaving 2022, I definitely had my doubts on my confidence on where I was at in my career, where I was at uh, physically as well. I was the heaviest I was exiting July 2022 at the last Alabama competition. I remember I got there even after the forms competition, I was absolutely gassed. I was super duper tired and I had no more energy for sparring. So that's what made me kick my transformation weight loss journey for sure was back in 2022, but it didn't really actually start until uh, 2023. Leaving and going into 2023, I was weighing about 160 pounds, which is a lot better than the 210 that I was, but I didn't want to stop there. My goal was to get into the best shape that I've ever been in my life by the time the San Antonio July tournament came around, and I definitely achieved that. Hard work and dedication were my big words that I used to get to where I was in San Antonio. Waking up early in the morning, going to the gym, running, ice baths, saunas, all of that. I did that on a daily basis. I gave myself a routine. I stuck to a good diet and I got some awesome results. Once I got onto San Antonio and stepping onto the mats, I was weighing about 145 pounds, which is the lowest I've been in my career as a martial artist. But not only that, with it being my record for the lowest weight, but it was also the best shape that I've ever been in. I was fast, I was strong, I felt awesome. And it definitely shows that my hard work paid off. The past three years when I was slacking off, I really didn't get many medals or I didn't even advance up to the gold rounds. Moving into the July competition, I flew through the gold rounds and I got to work on my way up. And I dedicate my success to my hard work that I put in over the summer. Like I said, there was days where I didn't want to get up and I didn't want to go to the gym or anything like that, but I knew I had a goal and I wanted to achieve it. So if I give you guys any advice is to set yourself a goal. You got to give yourself a goal that you can reach. And then after you reach that goal, give yourself an even harder one. So that way you have to work even harder than the last time. I already completed my goal in July, but it didn't stop there. I already set myself another goal and I'm super excited to push it and see if I can achieve it. And as tough as it may seem to say goodbye to a place that I've called home for the past 10 years on my journey, I'm super excited for the next chapter of my life and I wanna share it with you guys right now. And this brings me to my next part of the video, which is my departure from Texas. Yes, if you haven't seen from my last video, I did announce that I am leaving Texas and moving on to a different opportunity that came up. I am pursuing an opportunity that came up to go and train under senior grandmaster Jason Griffin. And he was the guy that was coming up, you know, when I started entering Tiger Rock. And it was always an idea to maybe one day be able to work with him and train with him. And that opportunity came true. So as hard as it was to make my decision to leave, it was definitely an opportunity where if I skipped on it, I would definitely regret it. And for all my friends in Portland, this is not a goodbye. You guys are not gonna get rid of me that easily. I'm definitely gonna come and visit and you guys will be able to see what I'm up to still with these YouTube videos. I'm going to make and, and the amount of opportunities I've had let alone just in Portland but in the whole area of Texas has been an absolute blessing I'm 20 years young no injuries uh, in the prime of my career right now and I still want to be a student learn grow and develop myself 
as a martial artist. And this is exactly what it's gonna give me and that's why I decided to pursue this opportunity. So you can expect a lot moving into 2024. I have no idea how it's gonna go and as it might scare some people, it actually excites me, you know, not knowing what to expect moving into 2024. I'm super excited about it. And with me being a new environment, it's also gonna give me a new creative flow for videos on the channel. So you can expect some new ideas and different videos on here. So that being said, with our big old talk about 2023, I wanna thank you guys so much for an absolute amazing year. Hands down, 2023 has been the best year of my life. Not just in the aspect of my videos, I am in the best place that I could be right now and I'm so thankful for it. The ones I have to thank is not only just you guys, but my friends and my family that have stuck around for me and that have helped me grow back. Also a big thank you to you guys that continue to watch these videos and, and stick along with me for the journey. And I hope you guys decide to stick along onto what I call the next chapter. And so with that being said, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching these videos. If you guys enjoyed these, this video, be sure you leave a like rating down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for what we got for the next chapter of my life, 2024 Mississippi. I can't wait. I hope that you guys stick along for the journey. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next year.